basically set up the camera on a, a, uh, <laughs> on a tripod. I turned it around. So I'm interviewing the people. And, I'm and look at yourself right there. And they're looking at me going, I said, see, you've been watching. And it, they found it kind of funny because while I'm interviewing them, they could look and see what they look like on the oh, camera. Oh, yeah. Uh, which okay. they thought was kind no, of we, funny. No, I have seen people, you know, uh, they'll sit there, you know, while they're watching the thing on the camera. And then they're going, you know, like this. And... Uh, Okay, now we can talk. Because they're assuming that piece is going to get cut out. Yeah. But they're using the, okay, our camera, a, a lot flexible of modern, monitor yeah. on them. A lot of the studio type cameras basically don't have the flexible thing because they got eyepieces you got to look at and they can't flip them over. Mm -hmm. Ours not only can flip over, it can be so they turned upside down sideways. And because I, I basically, I screwed around with the, with the monitor on them. I can adjust the color quality and the brightness and stuff by flipping the thing up and down. So, but, um, but our equipment, basically, the camera we're using here is about this big and weighs about two pounds. Yeah, it weighs one and a half to two pounds. It's not very heavy, but the, the next one up, the next one up is about, I guess, about 16, 17 pounds. It weighs like between five and ten pounds, depending upon the lens. And, um, it is, years ago, the best thing that we ever heard was at the NAB when the then head of the head of uh, Sprint, Sprint uh, said simply, the problem with most people on the internet is they're trying to use a cannon to do what a fly swatter is needed for. Which is why on our front page we had a cannon and a fly swatter. Because he said people would be using $45,000 cameras to do interviews of people with. When basically you, you, the guy with the flip camera is doing the same interview today, it's a high def, you know, 720, but he's still doing a high def interview. And uh, uh, they're using a $10,000 mic system, whereas you can get a uh, $350 Stenhauser direction to do the same thing, or you can get a uh, what is it? The Sony is um, two to three hundred for the wireless. Yeah, it's a Bluetooth wireless. Bluetooth wireless. Lavalier wireless. Lavalier wireless. But you can do that. And we've seen lavalier wirelesses. We were looking at some Wednesday for a hundred bucks. You know, a camera mounted, battery pack wireless that you could do for that. So they they're basically they're all they're basically the broadcast industry and the media moguls are acting like the Democratic Party, which they actually all are members of. Herbert, Hubert Humphrey said the uh, Democratic Party was composed of a bunch of a uh, collection of people with differing ideas that formed a circle and would shoot themselves in the foot. Oh, that's bad. But that's what it's being ran as. They declared something is dead because they don't know how to handle it. Well, I can guarantee you, um, in when cable started coming around in the 19, late 1960s, it, the people told me, uh, we're drawing a line in the sand. We're not going to allow that to destroy our industry because they're stealing material from us. Those people on cable today. The same people that did that were going to draw a line in the sand on um, uh, internet. They all own internet companies. They couldn't figure out how to capitalize uh, cable. Mm -hmm. They can't figure out how to capitalize internet. But they figured out how to make money off of cable, didn't they? Yep. And they say, well, people won't pay for cable, won't pay for the uh, internet. Well, they don't pay for a lot of the cable either. It's free, but they still make money off of the free cable, don't they? Mm -hmm. Because they know how to go for their customers, which they don't seem to get it through their heads. Okay, you, you know, it, it's easy. I mean, it, it, like I said, sooner or later we're going to simply give lectures to people at these dumb events about everything. New. The people that are running a business don't actually aren't actually involved in the business. They aren't, are they? No, they're not hands-on. They're talking heads. They're given material to read off. Which they might as well be a newscaster. You know, yeah. like, well, some, you know, for the news networks, there's a lot of them. They're just reading. Well, they're it's talking read. heads. Or they're reading it off of a teleprompter or a computer. Okay, you see these recessed things in the tables that they're sitting at? Those are the teleprompters telling them what exactly they're supposed to say. They don't, they're not an original thought. And all they do, I mean, like, um, Twitter, we know, two weeks ago went to basically sell itself for a lot of money at the media thing. And some, who talked about it on the death of the internet, some 15-year-old wrote a thing that the audience that they want doesn't watch, doesn't use the internet, doesn't watch TV. Well, that age group hasn't watched television since I was that age. They forgot that. They 
don't watch television. They don't do this. They don't do that. Why? They have a life. Well, the other part we think they forgot is it was a 15 year old from Morgan Stanley. Is that's what 15 year olds do. They don't understand that. <laughs> it's just like a, a certain company doesn't understand that that teenage girl that, that little girls are flat chested. Teenage girls all of a sudden pop out. And when they pop out, they fire them all at the studio. So, you know, because they, that's not, yeah, girls teen, shouldn't do that. That's little naughty. Girl, little girls develop as a teenage girl. And they, they didn't understand that. So they, they it, as, soon, as soon as they developed the teenage girls, then they remove them some, they never, never land them. Uh, the internet is not dead. Vi I mean, viral video, basically what's going to happen is a lot of people are going to get together and they're probably going to link up sites mm -hmm. where they get together, you know, well, okay, you know, I have bandwidth here, you have bandwidth there. We're going to sit there and start video swapping around to get things seen that basically the networks say that aren't going to make any money. Okay. And you're going to start making money. Okay. Because they're going to, they, they'll know how to, because in order to keep their little sites going, they're going to have to figure out how to capitalize on it. I mean, uh, we've got a lot of things that we're doing. I mean, we're going to, we're going to be doing DVDs to start selling on people. We've got a goof DVD, which is really, <laughs> you know, we have lots and lots of goofs. Yeah, guess who's goofing? Okay, and they said, well, I got a criticism. What? They said, well, you, you're a male chauvinist pig because you say you don't make mistakes. Well, absolutely. I'm only on camera at the most once a day. <laughs> they call you a male chauvinist pig? They call me a male chauvinist <laughs> pig because I only put up the goofs from you and you say that you don't have any, which is why you don't put them up. She's on camera. Six to seven times a day with no script. I'm on camera at the most once a day, other than these things, which are standard piece, which we cut from. All I have to, I can't make a mistake because every, I'm doing comments on the headlines of the day, which whatever I say is right. But see, what happens is she does so many different things that she forgets which character she's supposed to be in or what well, she's inter introducing. The other part is, is I naturally do things a lot of things that just a little goofy on some yeah. things. Anyway, so... But, so it's not being... When I say I don't make mistakes, it's because I'm not I'm not in a position where I can make a mistake. If I was That's in... That's true. See, it, part of it, that part is true, because when you say I don't make mistakes, it sounds arrogant. But when you think about it in context, it's... I can't make a mistake, because everything that I do is commentary. No matter what I say, even if it's wrong, it doesn't make any it's difference. It's just that viewpoint. That's right, because I will, and I, you know, I will, and then they say, what a monkey bug is, if you, well, it looks like you stutter at times. Well, no, it's because I will change the monkey bug from what was written to something that's more relevant than what I've just commented on. And that's when I'm stuttering. I'm not making an error, folks. That's not what it is. I'm changing in my head. Ch he's changing midway. Midway, right, as, you know, she says it, and then as she, I'll stop. And it, you know, well, they said, well, there he is making an error, and he's not telling people about it. No, I'm sitting there trying to rewrite what I've said to something else. If that money bubbles will eventually get used somewhere else, but there are a lot of times that, like I said, it's something that has been, something that she says triggers something that makes me think of something, you know, a, a Mark Twain thing that is more relevant to what we were doing than what I said because a lot of money bubbles sometimes are definitely not relevant to the news. I, I really don't know what's going to be asked until I'm asked. Yep. So therefore, what it, money bubbles is written sometimes the day before. And it was relevant to today, but today, like when we're doing, when, when, when the day is a gate's gate. And basically, the money, when the money bubbles has ended up as gate's gate instead of what, you know, uh, before. But, uh, but our problem, like I said, we're really screwed if we can't get our videos out. Well, and part of it is we're not the only ones because there's a lot of companies that do viral videos. Oh, yeah. We're talking. Tomorrow we're going to the Spike, uh, we're not going to uh, Comedy Central, roast of Joan Rivers. Everybody to our left depends upon viral video on the internet. And they don't have the bandwidth available to put their stuff up, you know, like needs to be done. So, I mean, uh, you know, if you're going to end up turning everything back into the 30-second thing like you do on the television, basically, it negates the reason for having people from the internet there because you can write it